Hello there, you. You look good. You look just really good. Four things. First, I just woke up, so my brain not not might not be functioning properly. Uh, second thing, I'm filming this on a phone, so the audio might not be great. And third, I'm filming it on a phone. Let me show, let me show you this. It's my cell phone uh, painter taped to a window. Why? Well, I want light here, and also my camera and my sound stuff's all at the office, and I didn't feel like going to the office because I just woke up and I wanted to get this out. And the fourth thing, which is the most important part, uh, well, my video came out. Could you survive the movies? It's the thing I've been teasing forever. I've been working on it for five months, and it's out now, so there's a link here, link at the top of the description. If you haven't seen it yet, just stop this video right now and go watch it. If you have watched it, thank you. I, I really hope you liked it. But it's, it's very important to me, this video, for a number of reasons which I want to detail and that will also answer the title of this video. So, as I've said before, I, I spent five months making this, and it sounds weird to say, but I don't think I've ever put this much of myself or this much time or effort into a video before. I, I wrote it, I directed it, it's been something that I've been working on for years to try and turn into a reality, and I'm, I'm so happy with it. And I, I, I really hope that you like it, and if you do, please share it. And this goes to the next part. Share it with everyone you know, send it to blogs, put it on Reddit, do whatever you can, please. I, I hate asking for things, but it's really important. And that's because not only is people's reaction to it and the engagement critical, but as is the views. That, that will help determine if I get to make this a series, and more importantly, if I get to make it free, which is, is key to me. I want everyone to be able to watch the content that I make with no restrictions. I think that's important that people be able to watch and digest not only educational content, but just films in, in general. It's what I was able to do as a kid, and I want to give that to others. So hopefully you like it, and I, I really hope it does well, because here's this weird thing. So this is where it comes to, to failing. I've made something that I'm incredibly proud of, that 65 people or so in total have worked on and put all of their energy and creativity into. And I, I want it selfishly to be appreciated, and also selfishly, I want to be able to make more of them. This is my dream, to make these science movies, these, these experiences that we get to go on together, and I, I don't want to have to stop doing that. I'm spoiled now. I don't want to have to go back to making my old style videos. I want to just make this. This is all I want to do. And I'm very fortunate in that I can even have that dream, and I would really like that dream to become a reality, so hopefully you can help me with that. Thank you. That's the whole spiel of that. So when it comes to failing, though, because I've had this kind of battle in my mind the past few days since this video came out. One second. Fajita, what are you doing? Fajita's just laying underneath the dining table. Also, welcome to my house. Yay, here it is. It's still under construction. I'm trying to get things set up. But anyway, failing. Let's talk about failing. I've, I've talked about it before in the sense that failing is generally a great thing because it allows you to do better next time. You learn from your mistakes. But in this instance, in I apologize, I might sound like a privileged person complaining, but this is just what's going on in my head, so I want to get it out there, is that, you know, I put all this time and effort into creating this thing, and now it's out. Now I have no control over it. The thing that's great about directing something is that you have control. The thing that's great about YouTube in general is that you have control. At this point, I don't. It's out there in the world. If it does well, it has nothing to do with me. And I, I really hope it does. But if it doesn't, and it's, let's say it doesn't get turned into a series that I get to continue to make, will I have failed? That's a weird question, and one that I've been trying to answer the past few days, and I don't know if I'll be able to answer it now, but I'm going to try. I'm very proud of what I've created. I think that is, to a degree, the best thing I've ever done. Maybe it's not the most interesting story, but for me, it pushed all the buttons that I wanted to push in terms of my creativity and challenging myself. It's huge. I've never had this much budget, this many people to work with, I had to write anything this long that was cohesive. So for me, I, I'm proud of it. And I want to make more of them. And if I don't, that sucks, and I'll be really upset about it. But that doesn't mean that it's the end. I still have something that, to me, is incredible. That is what I'm holding on to with it. Uh, but I don't know. I mean, maybe it's too early to tell. But I, I really hope I get to make more of them. And I, I will, to a degree, think that I have failed if I don't. But I also need to understand that, again, it's not in my control if it is successful or not dependent on the metrics that it's being judged on. So that's what I got with it, really. That's kind of where I am. But it's been very, I don't know, I felt very lonely the past few days. I mean, the, the feedback on the video has been incredible. So many YouTubers that I, I respect and that I love uh, really like the video, and that is one of the nicest things to hear from other people that you respect, that they respect your work. And here's a little tangent. Views in general to me don't really matter. In this instance, they do, because it determines kind of my future with this series. But in general, they don't. I don't make things to get views. I, I, I make things 
to share myself and more importantly to be respected. That's what I get from, from movies that I watched as a kid or even now, is that I just respect the way it makes me feel. I respect the emotions that it elicits and I want to be able to give those to others. I never had the intention of being an on-camera personality or anything like that. I always wanted to direct and it so happened that I fell into that. But my intentions have always been to create the best possible experience. You can get 10 million views, but if the content isn't engaging, if it's not an experience, a journey that you go on with the viewer that you take them on, then what's the point? It should be something intimate in this very exciting way. And that's hopefully what I'm, I'm trying to achieve. I don't know if I did it. But anyway, sorry, tangents. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But again, there's a link down there. There'll be a link here. I really hope you like it. I know that it didn't show up in a lot of people's feeds. I really hope you like it. Again, ugh, I hate saying this, but please share it if you did like it. It, it really is important. So that's that. I'm going to end this now because I know the audio is really bad. Do you want to say hi to Fajita real quick? Fajita, come on, buddy. Let's say hi. Say hi, say hi to my friend. Hi, hi for here though. Yes, you are. Hey, buddy. Are you okay? Should I put you down? Okay, okay. That's that. I love you. And as always. No, wrong, wrong channel. This isn't Vsauce. Uh, and remember, it's not goodbye. Oh no, it's never goodbye. It's.